Hello everybody and welcome to Alcamilla, which is a kind of spin-off of the Silent Hill series that has just been released and you guys have notified me about it. I've actually kind of forgotten about it, but you guys have reminded me because you're just the best, honestly. So yeah, we're going to go back into the Silent Hill universe for, what, the fourth time now? I've played one, two, and three. Maybe another game I've played, I don't know, but yeah, at, at least the fourth time to play Alcamilla. Now I think I played the demo to this a few months ago. But this is meant to be the fully released game, and it's meant to be quite different from the demo, so... This is going to be pretty new for me. Here we go, though. New game. Yeah, I hope you're not, I hope you're not too bored with the Silent Hill series. I know I'm not. It might be my favourite series of all time, at least in horror games. And that's not even nostalgia speaking. Uh, what happened? don't have a clue. What are we doing here? We're looking at those posters on the wall, apparently. Okay, so... Where are we? Are we playing as... Hang on, what was that? Is that a key? It's a key! This is a key to my room. This is my room. That's my poster. And I like the Beatles. And, uh, is that Mozart? Maybe? I don't know. Something else? A little note I wrote to myself? This is the last day I'll spend in my old room. Too many bad memories hold up in here. Tomorrow I'll be in Ashfield. I don't want to sell the house. Don't want strangers living in it. I keep having this feeling like I'm going to leave something important here. Like I'm forgetting something. Oh. And this would be the house? You... And oh, are we in Silent Hill right now? I mean, I can't really... Oh, I can just about see outside. It does look pretty gloomy. There's a lot of mist around. A lot of fog. Do I live in Silent Hill? That's kind of different. So I guess we're not playing as like Harry Mason or whatever, James Sunderland or whatever. Or uh, any of the other protagonists. Something else? No, nope, we just keep going back to that. No, okay. Right, well, I guess I'll just keep an eye on that little icon, I suppose. Ironically. It is now open. Brilliant. I locked myself in. Although he lives in Silent Hill, so I don't blame him one bit. I'd do the same thing. Absolutely. Okay, so we have a bedroom in here. Just looking for anything to pick up, really. Just an old Polaroid, apparently, which I, I don't think I'm going to pick up. Nope. Books, souvenirs, family photos, other stuff. I'm, I'm just walking around the room spamming E right now. All the flowers wilted away long ago. Well, maybe you should have taken some care. Oh, I see. This is the pa oh, this is his parents' bedroom. And all of his parents' belongings are in the attic. Not in here. Hmm, in the attic, of course. Okay, and in here, yet another bedroom. You just don't have enough in this house, do you? Oh, my grandma used to sleep here. Okay, it's grandma's room. The phone's not working. Of course it's not. It's Silent Hill. Nothing's working. Including door locks, I imagine. I'm going to assume if you're watching this, you've got like a working knowledge of Silent Hill. Even if you haven't played the games or even watched like me or somebody else play through it, you probably know what it's all about, I'm hoping, because there's probably going to be spoilers, and I might spoil things during my commentary. Oh, okay, I was kind of expecting another bedroom, because that appears to be like a fetish in this house. But no, we have a bathroom. Uh, nothing in the bath, or the sink, or the toilet. Cabinets? No. Some pills on the ground. Can I crouch? I kind of want to have a better look at those pills. I can't pick them up or anything. Uh, I don't think you can crouch. Can't jump either. Okay, can't open that. Alright, well... Nothing in here to really have a look at, so let's leave. Let's move on. What have we got here? Is that like a ladder or a shelf? Ah, that could be the entrance to the attic. Hmm, don't think I can do anything in there though. I can't climb the ladder if that is what it is. Let's go down. I'm fairly sure I'm in Silent Hill. Or somewhere, you know, just a, a little bit away. Locked. Okay. First of many locked doors, I imagine. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Let's go over here, shall we? Let's see, there's a, uh, a door under the stairs. The door is stuck, okay. This lock is broken, so I can't open this door. Yeah, this is what you're going to see a lot of, I think. Some coat hooks. Uh, is this like the... Would it be the front or the back door? Front? Door's stuck. Again. Alright, we're in here now, then. Into the kitchen. Can I pick up any of this beer? Oh, is that a knife? I feel like I, I, I should probably equip myself. No water, eh? Okay. But you got some choco bites. 
Got milk in the fridge. Oh, the fridge is closed for the time being. Better not open it. I guess I'll come back and have some choco bites later on. Books, souvenirs, family photos, yada yada yada. TV. We used to watch the TV together as a family. Yeah, where have they gone? Are they dead? Okay, we can we can enter the garden. Back or front, I'm not entirely sure. Back, I guess. Ah, would this lead to the alleyway? Maybe? I think we actually might be in Silent Hill. Okay. Nothing good, nothing good. Get inside. Oh, I can't. Oh, great. Well, I'm screwed already. If you lived here, would you have to put up with that every day? Not ideal, is it? Okay. Who's hanging by their feet in the other world? Oh, is, is that the, the ears and the mouth that you see in, like, Silent Hill 3? I think it might be. Cool. This must be the hospital, then. Creepy. Am I having a vision of this, or...? Maybe this is the opening credit sequence, I don't know. I'm gonna shut up now. Okay. Okay. Weird start. Right, so... Where am I now? Right. What the hell is this place? Well, I can I can answer you that one. It's El Camilla Hospital. We're here. Already. Did we just walk through those gates? Maybe we did. Maybe we did. How did I get here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Something to do with that cutscene, I think. That door doesn't have a handle. That could be a problem. Okay. Uh, before we go in, let's let's have a look at the benches. Um, are there are there any enemies in this game? I wonder because I, I seem to remember in one of the games there was dogs around this area. Quite a few of them actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my head. Was I dreaming? Uh, gotta be because of the drugs. The drugs, eh? What have we got here is that a map. Is he talking about White Claudia by any chance? Okay, you will find a toolbox in the administration room. Please begin repairs on the water pipe immediately. If the cellar fills up with water, it will short out the generator, and there is a patient connected to the medical ventilator. A certain Gillespie, maybe? Who knows? Please hurry. P.S. Check the pipe under the sink in the kitchen. That's from administration, which is a, a strange name. Right. Okay, we also got a TV on over there. This is the information desk. There isn't a crouch of any kind. Hold on a moment. I don't usually do this. I usually do this beforehand, but let me just check. Okay, movement. No, apparently not. That's strange. Unless it's in advanced. No. Hmm. Okay, so I, I won't be going under there to, to go into that door. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Well, nice little waiting area here. Let's just uh, have, a, have a little look, shall we? What have we got here? What is this? It's a flashlight. Brilliant. And it's F. Excellent. Well, this is pretty much how I remember it. I bought it up. It is. It's locked from the other side, and you can see the nails sticking through, actually. That's kind of neat. To the exam room we go, then. Right. Oh, is that a save point? Let me just test that. Yeah, saving. Okay, so it's just like Silent Hill 3 in that respect. Okay, anything on the desk? There's something's like glowing over here, or is that just like a, a shine? I think it's just a shine of that. Okay. Well, I'm just going to spam E on most things. Okay, like this, for instance. What have we got in here? Uh, like an EpiPen or something, maybe? Some more pills? Uh, anal gin? Jesus Christ, or anal gin is probably a real thing, but not the best name for it, i got to say. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, let's let's see if we can get behind the reception desk. Okay, it's it's an open door. It's an open door. Okay, what we got here? We have a box. We have a toolbox. Um, it's screwed tight. I can't loosen it barehanded. Uh huh. Okay, we're on the quest for um, like a spanner or something. Then I suppose something to get that off. Sure. I'm gonna need some tools then. No, can't pick up those scissors. Have a look through the files. No. Gloomy day outside, as always. Could be a lot worse, though, as I'm sure you know. Right. Door is stuck. I was afraid of that. That was why I was sort of trying to uh, crouch under and go past the counter. But no. Okay, fine. Right. So let's keep an eye out for tools and, well, pretty much anything that has a little shine on it, like this flashlight did. Okay. So, any anything we can take? There's a lot of anal gin, again. A cabinet packed with drugs unknown to me. I won't touch it. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, this is this is pretty much exactly as I remember it being um, from both games, really. Can I read that? Oh, it's I think that's Srillic. I think this is a Russian-made game originally, so... Yeah, there might be some things that won't be translated like that, I assume. Unless that... No, I thought that second paragraph might have been translated, but no. Okay. Doctor's office, right. Right. Looks pretty clear. Can we can we go through here? No, we can't. It's locked from the other side. And for some reason, I don't have the inclination to smash that window and dive through. Eerie music, I've got to say. Right. The exit? Nah, I should be so lucky. It's stuck. Okay then, uh, so we just came from the medicine room. Let's have a look, shall we, at the doctor's office? Okay, that's locked. That's never good, is it? Right, we have a, we've got the kitchen, which I can go in. Okay, now that note. Is it under the, under the sink, right? Here? What's under the sink? Let's just have a look. Uh, I don't think there's anything under the sink, to be honest. Frying pan, no. Oh, there's a knife, there's a knife! Again, can't pick it up. There's a cleaver! Can't even take that. Well, there's a couple more sinks. Oh! Ah! I see. Right, okay. So I can pick stuff up with E as well. And sort of like move it. Physics-based puzzles, okay. I uh, kind of wish I could crouch here. I don't see anything. Is that the pipe I need to fix? Is it this one? Oh! Bloody hell! <laughs> That was loud. That was loud. I just... Oh yeah, I could stand on the bucket, apparently. Okay. What the fuck was that? Okay. Right, this is what I was meant to get, I think. We have a... Well, not a spanner exactly, but a wrench. We got a wrench. Which I'm sure can help me out with the toolbox. So, if there's nothing else in here, I guess I'll go back for that. I don't think there's anything else to find here. Nothing's... Nothing's sort of like standing out to me and I'm spamming E on pretty much everything. So, okay. Let's continue along from the kitchen to the director's office. The direct... Oh no, that's a doctor's office. I was going to say that he's got two offices? That's that's greedy. Oh, this room. Is there a stain behind the desk? No. Hmm. Chronologically, is this before Silent Hill? One, two, three, four, and all of them? Or, or what? Okay, tests of preparation 7833D3C, which is white Claudia. The new psychoactive, pre uh, psychoactive preparation causes extensive hallucinations and paranoia in the patient. The patient sees everyone as enemies and even perceives the names of the doctors and nurses to read monsters. Suffers from a distorted perception of the physical world. Acts aggressively toward other people. Furthermore, the preparation increases the blood pressure and practically doubles the heart rate. These symptoms may result in cardiac arrest. Preparation 7833D3C has been denied approval for further use from good old Dr. Kaufman. Who, uh, who, who dies in Silent Hill 1, I believe, right, yeah, right at the end? I think Lisa gets him, right? Or at least in most endings, I think. The, the good endings, I think Lisa gets him. See, see if you haven't played the games, <laughs> I, did, I did warn you about the spoilers. I really did. That door doesn't have a handle. Well, it doesn't have a handle on either side, then. Just kick it through. Come on, that's that's my way out of here, apparently. Okay. 
We have a door to something. Downstairs. Oh, to the to the basement level. I thought that was water, actually. Okay. Every time that sound effect plays, I think I'm missing something. But maybe not, maybe not. I just want to check if the lift's working. Because, you know, notoriously they don't. Okay, nothing's happening. The elevator is out of power. Fine. Okay. Uh, well, let's, let's go back to the to the toolbox, right? At least you can sprint in this game. Okay, the tool, it wasn't in here. It was in the room by the reception desk, wasn't it? This one over here. That's right. Tools. Okay, here we go. Does that not work? Oh, it does. Now I can open it. Okay, great. I don't think I've got an inventory or anything. I think it just sort of happens. Big valve. It is definitely for the pipe in the basement. How do you know about that pipe in the basement? Who are you? <laughs> I, I thought moments ago you didn't know where you were, but yet you know what pipes are in the basement? Bullshit. Right, okay. I guess save again, because why not? I've been playing Alien Isolation. I like to save a lot in that game. I think it's rubbing off in other games now. So, well, I know where the basement is, so let's take the, the valve to the basement. Right here. Okay, cool. No signs of enemies yet, which is good because I have nothing to defend myself with. Although I'd kind of like it if you'd never got anything to defend yourself with, or nothing substantial. It doesn't look good down here, does it? Okay, so the lift doesn't work. That's out of power. We've got like a... Is that a keypad? It's a keypad. Five, 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 five. No, it's a keypad or I'm, I'm calling someone. I'm not even sure. Is that for this door? It is. Yeah, lock. This key has an electric lock. Okay, so that goes up there. Danger high voltage. Okay. I'm not, I'm not seeing a big pipe. Okay. Is there something on that shelf? Something something that looked like it was shining. No. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Okay, uh in here. There's that sound again. Right, not locked. Okay, I see some pipes. I see some pipes. Ah. Looks like it fits. Did that just raise? Okay, yeah, I want the water to go away, I suppose. All the way down. <laughs> and all the way back up, if I wanted to. No, let's keep it down. Let's keep it down. Okay. Okay. Anything else to play with? Seeing as I know so much about this. No, apparently I don't. I know I don't know what this is, but it looks broken. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything in this place looks broken, really. Okay, so... Danger high voltage... I'm not standing in water anymore, so that should be quite good. Okay, it's, I was kind of expecting it to be locked, but fine. Jehoon. We've got the generator here. Oh. Uh, I think I can use it. Is that wise? Oh. I guess so. Well, now that's up and running, does that mean that the lift is working? Oh, and that keypad, I think. That wasn't red before, was it? No idea what the code might be. I need to get myself a pen and paper, I think, because I think there's going to be legitimate puzzles in this game. I usually have a pen and paper with me on the Silent Hill games, even though I've played them several times. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> okay. Bit of a glitch there, but I can forgive a few things. Okay, so we got the basement one, two, and three. Well, we've been to the basement, obviously. One. That's nothing new. Two or three. Let's go and let's go from the top down, shall we? It works. Blimey, it works. Okay. Your lift has arrived. Right? Oh I see, I have to I have to open the door myself. Fine. Right, floor three. Okay, now is this door going to be locked, stuck, broken? No! No, I can go through. Huh. 
Okay. One of the games, I think this door was stuck. Might be the floor below. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got 307 here. 307. Also open, by me. Another save point. Might have to use that, to be honest. A few more things. <laughs> Giddy. Giddy knee, right? Okay. <laughs> a few more posters. Anything interesting on the desks? More pills, some giant pencils, a syringe. Right, just a save point, I think. I feel strange when I'm looking at this circle. But yet it feels so right. Okay, so that was 307. So what, 30, oh, 306? 306. It's broken. And when it's broken, I'll never go through. So, 305? Broken again, I'll never go through that one. Storage and the linen room, right. That door, I bet it's going to be stuck or locked. Storage. Okay, that door doesn't have a handle. Quite a few doors don't have handles. Right, so this is stuck. Oh. Oh, I, I'm terribly, terribly wrong. Huh, okay. Is it that door that's stuck, maybe? Right. I'm just, I'm just, you know, trying to think back to Silent Hill 1 and 3. Maybe even 2. Do you visit Alcamilla Hospital in 2? You, yeah, you do, I think. Or one of them. Might not be this one. Let's go to the men's. It's not locked. Room of birth IV or 4. Roman numerals. Room of birth 4, I'm assuming. Somebody didn't like that mirror, but they loved their own blood. So, yeah, that's what they'd rather look at. Okay, no one here. Nothing in the toilet. No. Okie dokie. Room of birth 4. Or room of birth IV. You know what? I'm just going to write that down. I'm just going to write that down. It might just be something completely pointless, but... You know, if it saves me some time on puzzles later on, they might help me out, you know? Okay. Do I say anything about it if I examine it? No, I don't. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. Moving on to the ladies. Which is broken, unfortunately. And I, uh... Can't get to the stairs, it's locked. But it is only locked, I just need a key to open it. Right. Is that a radio? That looks like a radio to me. That might be worth having, actually. Okay, well, let's see if we can go into the linen room. Maybe this one's locked. No, that's open. Blimey. Hmm. I know less than I think I do. Oh, we can go through, we can go around. Okay, so there's another four... Yeah, there's another four doors. Okay, 301 is open. Okay, we got a wheelchair, we got a sink, we got a bed without a mattress. We got a box that... <laughs> creepy. Very creepy. That is straight from Half-Life 2. It's a nice mix, actually, of the, um, the Half-Life 2 assets and Silent Hill... Uh, like ripped models and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like it. Okay. That was it. I can't pick up the, the the creepy doll. No. An old doll scares me. Especially when you hear the sound of crying and laughing babies. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, shall we? I think it's for the best. Yeah. Okay, so that's 301. Fine. So 302? 302 it is. No, 302 it isn't. I need to get a key to open that one. 303. Okay, we have pills and, and beer, just to wash it down with. Another giant ass syringe. More beer. Uh, believe me, I am just spamming E on everything, but I'm not picking anything up, so... Okay, that that's that. Okay, 304 is open. Okay. What is this? It's a key. I found a small key at... Look. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that shocked me, actually. Uh, it's It said it was something to do with a locker? A key to a locker or something? Jeez, that... Whoa! Ooh! Shook me. 
I have to uh, sort of shake that one off, I think. Is that it, though? I mean, there's a mug. Nothing much else. No, it doesn't look like it, really. Okay. There you go, then. And uh, I think that's that's the end of floor three. At least this part. Oh, hello. Hey, it's a nurse. Are you going to care for me? Or are you going to try and kill me? Hey. Hey. You okay? That is definitely a radio. Can I pick it up? I guess not. I'm pressing E on it. Can't pick up the hammer and put a nail through her head? Creepy. Right, okay. Uh, so I guess enemies are going to be a problem now, so I'll, I'll be wary, I suppose. I want to get back to the elevator and go down a floor. Let me try floor number two. Okay, that's weird. She's not there anymore. She She's not there? She's not there. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, hang on. Did she open this door? Maybe she had the key for that? No? No. Okay, did she leave anything behind? No? Weird. Hmm. Never mind then. Okay, well, at least we can go back to the elevator, I suppose. It's pretty good so far, actually. It's a lot different from the demo, from what I remember anyway. I think you're in a different location in the demo, actually. Or maybe just a different part of the hospital. Okay. Still working? Good. It's my only way down, isn't it, really? Okay, so floor two. It's a very big elevator. Did anyone play the uh, the custom map for Left 4 Dead, I think, one? That was the Silent Hill map. It was basically like the first two-thirds of the game in Left 4 Dead. And it was really quite good. And I think you actually do visit the hospital in the, uh, that as well, so... Yeah, it's not. this isn't the first time it's been uh, put in first person. We have 205, 206. Let's try 205. It's open. Okay, okay, okay. What have we got? What's that? The riddle of rooms is very simple. You will solve it certain. Okay, is that grammatically incorrect on purpose? Is it a bad translation, or what? Nothing on TV, is there? Okay, okay. The riddle of rooms is very simple. You'll solve it certain. I don't think I'll solve it certain. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Um, One to zero. Ten digits. No idea. No idea. Okay, uh, I guess I'll come back to that. I'll, I'll keep note of that. I mean, it's not the first bloody writing that I've seen today, so... Right. So that's in... that's in 205. 205. Okay, so in 206? 206... Oh, hello. Room of Death. Oh, okay. Room of Death I. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down. So we've had a room of birth and we've had a room of death now. So there you go. Who's, who's crying? Whose voice is that? Is that you? It's kind of creepy. I've got to say, it's kind of creepy. I don't think there's anything else to find in this room. I guess... Oh. It looks like it's got like some sort of mesh fence over it, but maybe we can access it from the other side. You never know. You never know. kind of want to have a closer look. Is it this door? Or is it behind there? Or, whoa, 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 whoa. This place looks all too familiar. I used to be here a long time ago. This is the hospital. Ah, ex-patient maybe. Anyway, let's let's try this. Ah, the door doesn't have a handle, so I'm not going in there. Okay. We have a, an operation room with a keypad. I'm going to assume it's not unlocked. It's locked. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to need to figure out that code as well. There's one in the basement too. 
And there's that, like, code needed for it to open a box as well. Right. Well, let's, uh, try this. The door is stuck. This was probably the one I was thinking of. This is the floor I was thinking of. Nurse center is open. It's open. And there's a save point right there. Okay. It's pretty cool so far, honestly. I'm liking this. If you are liking this yourself, please give this video a like. That'd be much appreciated. We've got lockers here. Whoa. Okay. Can't open that one. Ah, haha, <laughs> okay, so that key was to a locker after all. A double locker. What do we got? What, what's this? What's, what's this? Okay. Hi, Lisa. Hey. Dr. Kaufman has ordered the installation of a code panel on the door to the operation room. What I can't understand is, what does he want it for? Well, whatever. It's not important. If you forget the password, remember that it consists of four digits. Funny, uh, funny enough, each digit seems correspond- yeah, there's few bad translations. It seems to correspond to the product of the first and third digit in the numbers of four different rooms. I'm going to have to read that again, I think. Hang on. First and third digit in the numbers of the four different rooms. Okay. The products. Like multiplication, maybe. There's a TV in the first room. A patient with a heart condition is in the second room. There's a little girl in the third room. And the fourth room I hate because the occupant is a cranky drunk. Anyways, good luck. Thank you, whoever you might be. Okay. Okay, each digit seems to correspond to the product of the first and third digit in the numbers of four different rooms. Right, so there's a TV in the first room. I don't think I've seen a TV. Patient with a heart condition. Is this a riddle? Or is there actually, you know, like a TV in one of the rooms? Heart condition, there's a little girl in the fourth room. Fourth, fourth room. I, I did see a lot of beer bottles and beer cans in one of the rooms. I can't remember which one it was now, though. Hmm. All right. Well, okay. That, that, that's a clue to the to the code. Let's move on, though. Hopefully, is this going to be unlocked? It is. Okay, we're in. Uh, let's let's start with the sort of like bathrooms. Let's go to the ladies. Right. Room of, Ah, here we go. We've got another one. Room of Old Age uh, 4 again. Room of Old Age 4. Right. So we've got birth, death, and old age. Fine. Uh-huh. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go in here. Oh, lovely. What a miserable and odd-looking picture. Who hung it here? Alessa. Uh, okay, so let's go into the men's. Maybe it's not quite as bad. All right, no mirror at all this time. Nothing written on the wall, though. Who's in the cubicles? No one, no one, no one. Nothing in the toilet. Okay. I don't think we're going to find anything here. Nothing standing out, so let's move on. Can we go to the stairs? No, the door is stuck. And I think it's going to remain stuck. Fine, fine, okay. Oh well then, so 201? 201. Okay, there's actually something over there. Ooh, blood, oh. Oh, it's a heart, my god, it's a human heart! Okay, this is something to do with the... the code, isn't it, for the operation theatre. Ah, the operating theatre. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, so it's a human heart. It's a human heart. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'll have to think about this at some point. Uh, that's in 201. Okay, 202. 202. There, there's a TV. There's a TV. And it's really, really dusty. I guess it doesn't work either. Okay, so we've got a TV in 202, and we've got a human heart in 201. What have we got in 203? Whoa, whoa. Gotta stop with that. You gotta stop with that. Okay, 203. 203 is... Uh, what was it? There was, a, there was a little girl and a drunk. I think I know where the drunk is. Little girl? Not so sure. Oh! Uh, maybe I do know where the little girl is, actually. It was the bear and the doll. Anyway, we have something. And it reads, 
The doctor said I can go home soon. Thank God. To me, it's horrible here. I don't like the hospital. The food is terrible. Compared to a home-cooked meal, this is just shit. Even fast food is starting to sound good. Besides, there's absolutely nothing to do here. And this room is simply awful. Though it wouldn't be too... Uh, it wouldn't be if they just fixed it. The truth is, on the third floor, the repair work is already being done. From what I hear, the ceiling in room 302 has collapsed and crushed one of the patients. Apparently, one of the doctors found him and he's now in the morgue. But that's just what I heard. I haven't seen it for myself. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Bill. Presumably a letter to his family, which didn't really get very far, did it really? But maybe like two meters. Huh. Well, sucks to be you, Bill. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be me right now, honestly. So let's move on. We've got one more room to have a look at, at least. Yeah, we can't access anything in here. No, no, no. Looks the same as the other floor. Th uh, 204, sorry. 204. Okay. Okay, they are not humans. They all want to kill me. Is that relevant? Shall I write that down? They are not humans. They all want to kill me. No, that's just... I don't think, don't think it is, actually. I'm not going to write that one down. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything. I think that might be it, you know? I think that might be it. Okay, right. So, let's think about this. Let's think about this. 203, 202. So, 201. 201 is a heart. I'm going to have to write this down as I go, I think. 201 is a heart. 201 is a heart. So, 202 is the TV. It is 202, right? I've got the right order. Yeah, 202 is the TV. Now, there was a room upstairs with lots of bottles and, like, lager cans and stuff like that. And there was also one, I think, for the little girl with the bear and the doll. With the creepy laughing. I don't remember what those room codes are, though. But, um... I think next time I'm going to go investigate. I'm going to save right now. I've been playing quite a while already. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this first part, please leave a like or a comment just signifying that you want to see more because if you don't want to see more, I'd like to know so I can sort of stop recording and move on to something else. But uh, yeah, I had fun. Hope you had fun too. See you next time. Is this this one? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> that was loud. Big Valve. It is definitely for the pipe in the basement. How do you know about that pipe in the basement? Who are you? All the way down. <laughs> and all the way back up if I wanted to. What is this? It's a key. I found a small key at- Look. Whoa. 206. Oh, hello. A human heart in 201. What we got in 203? Whoa, whoa. You gotta stop with that. You gotta stop with that.